Okay, so we want to find the exact value of this expression right here. In order to do that, you need to break it down using your addition and subtraction or your compound angle equations. So the easy way to do that is to flip this into two numbers that add or subtract. Now, if it's a large positive number or positive fraction like this, I'm going to use addition and I'll show you an easy way to figure out the two numbers. In this case, I'm going to do an addition. Both my denominators are going to be the same 12. And now I want to pick two, two numerators such that they can both simplify with 12. So think of two numbers that add to 23 pi. So you can do like one and 22 pi. But if I put one here, one over 12 does not simplify. So that's not going to work. I can do two plus 21 pi. So two pi plus 21 pi. And what you notice is that both of these numbers over here will simplify with 12. That's how you know you've picked the right numbers. Now there's a lot of correct solutions in this. There's many different solutions. You don't have to pick two and 21. You could have picked three and 20, for example, that would work as well. A lot of different solutions. So just pick any one and continue with the same steps. The next thing you want to do is you want to simplify the fractions. So this is going to turn into pi over six. And this is going to turn, I can divide both of these by three. So seven pi over four. Now I want to use my addition formula to break this down. So sine pi over six cos seven pi over four plus cos pi over six sine seven pi over four. Now you simply just use your special triangles to get these exact values over here. So sine pi over six, that's just my regular special triangle. It's in quadrant number one. So if I, this is pi over six, pi over three, one root three and two. This is quadrant one, so it's all positive. So sine of pi over six is going to just be one over two. And cos of pi over six is just going to be root three over two. So this is how you do it if you had no calculator. For cos of seven pi over four. Well, seven pi over four I know is going to be in quadrant number four. This is my angle of seven pi over four. My acute angle is just pi over four. And I know that the special triangle pi over four has an adjacent of one, an opposite of one, and a hypotenuse of root two. But I also have to decide the signs of these two sides. This is positive one because it's in the positive x-axis. This is negative one because it's in the negative y-axis. So cos of seven pi over four, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, so just one over root two. And sine of pi over four is just negative one over root two. And now all I need to do is simplify this. So I'll start by rationalizing this out, makes it a bit easier in this question. This, I'm gonna multiply root two on the top and bottom. So that's just root two over two. I'm going to do the same thing for this one here. It's just negative root two over two. Now I can multiply. So one times root two is just root two over four. Positive times negative is negative. Root three times root two is root six over four. So final solution is just root two minus root six over four. And this is how you would solve this question without a scientific calculator.